Welcome to episode two. For about four to six months, I've had this unopened display case of Futurama Universe X from Kid Robot, which is technically series three. This is the top of the display box. Here we have the nice side. Here's the back showing off all the things you can get. Here's the other side. Has fry. Here's the bottom. This is a display box. So in the store, you would fold it in, pop Bender's head up like that, and then people will come and buy individual boxes. I'm not a normal person, so I bought an entire case, 24 boxes. Not bad, looks pretty good, eh? Thumbnail. Series one released a whole bunch of characters and series two released a whole bunch of new different characters. So when series three was being announced on Kid Robot, everyone was like, yeah, more characters. Professor Farnsworth. It's just a re-release of like new different colors. It's kind of more of like a cash grab. That's why technically it's not called series three. It's called series 10. Here's what an individual box looks like. We have Fry in the front, characters on the side, Zoidberg on the back, and the other characters on the side. Top and bottom. Two in 24 box chance. 8.3% chance of being in one of these boxes. For some reason, Leela though, there is only a 6% chance. Robot Devil, which is 1 in 24, 4% chance, he's worth around 20 to $25. The alternate universe Leela and Fry is 1 in 48, which equals about 2% chance to get in a box. They're going for around $50 each. Alternate universe Zoidberg, and the mystery one, which is most likely Goldbender. They're only a 1% chance. That means you need 96 of these boxes to get a good chance of receiving one of them. $150 on eBay, crazy. Which means I'm gonna freak out if I open either one of those two. Box number one, box number one. <laughs> so for the first figure, we have Fry. I'll be going through all the figures in more detail after I open them all. Morbo, Woo! I'm just throwing the boxes in this box. Nice green neon shiny toxic head. Ooh, Slurms. Oh, comes with two accessories. A boom box and sunglasses. Box number four. Leela. She is very head heavy. She got some big head. So what's this box number five? Zop Brennigan, whoa. He has a fuzzy outfit and he comes with champagne. There, that's Leela playing dead since Zap came into the picture. Oh, you think I'm crazy? Comes with a knife. No doubles yet, until I jinxed it. Box number eight. That one missed. Oh, Calcula. Smells good. This is a big one. Is it hedonism, bot? It's Benderender. Box number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another Calculon. Eleven. Oh my God. Oh, I thought it was another Calculon. Is another bender. The first row is done. So this, this marks the halfway mark. Oh, he don't need them bar. Yeah. I just realized you guys can't see this pile over here. Ooh, he has a fuzzy head. 14, another Zap Brannigan. Lilia. Oh, the robot devil. He does not want to stand still. He'll just be dead over here in agony. Another dead kiff. 17. Oh! Alternate universe fry! Oh! He got beheaded! He doesn't come with an accessory though. Regular fry comes with pizza. Alternate universe Leela. Alternate universe Leela. Ultraver Alternate universe Leela! There's a big old fat one. Another hedonism bot. What are we gonna get? Alternate universe Leela? Oh. Super King Bender. I forgot there's a Super King Bender. Box number 20. 
another Roberto, another glowing neon slurms. This one likes to spin. Oh, it's something green. Another neon marble. Uh oh. So apparently there's a um, vein cream that comes with a marble that I did not notice when I opened the first marble. So what box is this? Oh, second last box. Another fry. Another fry with pizza box. And the last box. So there's gonna be a lot more spending I'm gonna have to do in order to get the whole set. Box number 24, drum roll. Super King Bender. So the rarest one I got is Alternate Universe Fry. Looks like I'm missing three of the four rarest ones. Alternate Universe Leela and Zoidberg and the mysterious Golden Bender. So I'm gonna quickly go through my nice box of paper, um, my nice box of wrap, uh, make sure I didn't throw any more accessories out. So this is all the uh, figures I got. Fry, whoops. Just like most Kid Robot figures, the head comes off and the arms are movable. Stamp at the bottom of his foot. And he comes with a Penucci's pizza. Do not tip delivery boy and the IC wiener. In case you didn't know, you can actually put the pizza box in Fry's hand. And now this is alternate universe Fry. He has a browner shade of skin. He almost looks like a poo from The Simpsons. Bender and King Bender. So this Bender is painted with a very shiny metallic paint, which actually has his head stuck. There we go. So he has a bigger head or a bigger, a thicker neck than Fry did. The, the feet might move. The paint might just have it stuck. His arms move. And on the inside of his chest compartment, you can open it to reveal a small compartment. So you could put the cigar he comes with into his hand. So he's holding it. Or you can open up his chest compartment. Put the cigar in like that. And now he's hiding it. And it comes with this very metallic Egyptian pharaoh mask. Snap on here. So you could have him like this standing wearing the mask. So now on to Super King Bender. He's painted the same metallic paint except his head now has the mask on. Whoops! And in order to take the cape off, you have to take off his head. So he comes with this cape. It's a nice metallic reddish pink. Here are the tags at the bottom of the feet. He also has a chest compartment. So you put the cape on first and then you put his head on. And then his last, whoops. And his other accessory is his crown. That kind of just sits on his head like this. Here we have lovely Leah. So her purple hair, her purple hair is a very like cosmic-y unique purple. She has purple lipstick on. Her head comes off. So I believe all these characters have different head sizes so you can't mess up the heads and body. And her accessory, single eye sunglass. So it actually hooks on her ear. So this is Leela on the beach, protecting her one eye from the sun with her one eye sunglass. Due to her ponytail, she's very back heavy with her head. She likes to fall over. Most likely you're gonna have her looking to the side to balance her out. So Hedonism Bot doesn't apologize for anything. And he's looking pretty cool sitting on his four robot legs. His feet do not move. His arms move though. And that's about it. Nothing else in his body moves. He does come with his bowl of grapes. Can't really hold it, it mostly just sits on him. If you tried to put it on his stomach, maybe, oh, there we go. So you could kind of uh, rest it on his hand like that. The Universe X version of Zap Brannigan gives him, whoops, gives him a very dark felt gown. It's like fuzzy. 
so his hands are movable, but his head does come off. It has a neck piece that's not really made to take his head off. Now you could probably make him hold the champagne, but um, it's very tight in his hand. His fingers are very small. The bottle is made with a softer plastic. Here's Kif. Kif is really simple. You don't get any accessories with him. He's just a big alien head. Here's the bottom of his feet. Now we have glow in the dark marble. I'll turn off the lights and show marble and slurms glowing in the dark at the end of the video. He has the same head like Zap Brennigan. One not made to take off so easily. Here's his arm movement. Bottom of his feet. Has some scuffs on this one. This one's a nicer one. Dr. Flim Flam's vein cream. Now you could have Marble holding the vein cream like that. So you can put Roberto's knife into his hand. He's very well designed here. His arms move. Waha! The feet do not turn. His head does turn. You think I'm crazy. Waha! This is possibly one of my favorite ones. So I have one robot devil who finds it really hard to balance. He actually has a funky paint job. He has like two different tints of red. I actually kind of like it. Makes him look very devil-y. He has a tail. It doesn't really rotate, it's just flexible plastic. His head pops off. And his head turns. Woohoo! Comes with two accessories. Bit difficult, but you can get him to hold the bull staff. Then probably by the neck. Yep. There we go. Holding the violin, ready to play and jump into song and dance. So Calculon and his bent antennas up here has another metallic funky dual tone gold paint job. So this is all one piece, his feet, torso, body, his head is stuck on so this one his head's on pretty tight can't move it this one okay so this one his head is more free oh that's why so he has a giant neck there's the bottom comes with his little oscar here it's actually very nice detail on this whoops whoops you can make him hold it I dedicate this Oscar to myself. Ah! And last but not least, we got Party All Day Slurms McKenzie. Glow in the dark version. He's one big body with one of the hard to detach heads. His hands move. Comes with glasses as his first accessory. The glasses sit on his head very nicely. Yeah, and a boom box as his second accessory. So the boom box just sits beside him. You wanna party all day? I'm all partied out, dude. I'm all partied out. Ugh. I'm not taking your shift. Now it's really hard to get this camera to see this. It's a bit creepy if you ask me. But there's Morbo and Slurms glowing in the dark. They just have uh, black eyes that look down to the depths of your soul. <sighs> I'm a zombie. <sighs> I got them under a UV black light and they glow a lot more. The paint on Kiss face actually glows in the black UV light. He doesn't really glow in the dark, but he does glow in the black light so they do glow a lot nicer in black light dead carcasses stay tuned for my next episodes i'm gonna review more and more futurama stuff 
Now I'm thinking I should get some friends. And I guess if you're interested, check out my other ones. Thanks. Look at this mess of dead carcasses. Oh, looks like someone here is not dead. It is me, the greatest one of them all.